internet, I'm Kyle. Apparently I'm here today to talk to you about DMing again. My first episode I talked about what I thought the golden rule of DMing is, which is to never say no. This one's gonna be uh, probably a slightly more dry topic, but one that I think is actually very, very important. This episode I'm gonna be talking about taking notes and preparing as a DM. So right off the bat, I just wanna say this, there is no truly right or wrong way to prepare for your games. People's brains work differently. So there's not gonna be one catch-all. You know, like uh, you don't have to write like you're writing a professional module. While that writing style is easy for others to pick up and use, that's not the point if it's your own game. Unless you're trying to get published, in which case, like 100%, use the format. But this is more for DMs who are running their own homebrew game, or even running a pre-written and just want to introduce their own elements to the story. No one understands how your brain works better than you do. Okay, last time. This is DMing. This is your brain on DMing. So for instance, uh, myself, I'm actually a very good improv DM. Most of the sessions I prepare for, I basically have large bulleted lists. If you're not using a pre-written world, you're gonna have to build that world. The first place you'll wanna start is a map. What is your world? What is it like? What are landmarks, cities, places you want the adventurers to be able to go? I always recommend that you start by figuring out where your starting point is and where your ending point is and then filling in the blanks in between as you go. For instance, right now, uh, I'm running a, a homebrew campaign of my own design that takes place entirely within the Maelstrom, which, which in Pathfinder is the uh, chaotic plane where all chaotic souls go when they die. It's basically a giant swirling green vortex of constantly changing matter, which is perfect if you're like me and just wanna improv, and it's a place where literally anything could happen or exist, and Logically so. When I started playing this campaign, I basically had point A that I wanted the party to start at and a point B that I wanted them to get to. And in between, I basically just named things. And I also, this is a pre-written campaign setting. Like, this is a thing that exists within the Pathfinder Pantheon. It's not really well defined. So basically what I would do is just go on the web and within that setting, just find things or places and say, okay, this is a place we can go. And since they're not well defined, I can build them to be whatever I want. But yet again, that's me. That's my style. If you're not good at improving, or if you just like to have everything written down, 100% write it all out. Write it out in a way that makes sense to your brain. Like even when I have like fully fleshed out dungeons, my writing style is something that I don't think another DM can pick up and just get. <laughs> because yet again, I write very loosely. Some people like to write very rigidly and very detailed. My descriptions for rooms aren't fully written out. Which I basically give myself a brief description of the room and then I go from there. Writing in that way for me allows me to kind of on the fly change things if I feel it will benefit the narrative or if something's happened and I kind of want to change it on the fly. But 100%, as far as taking notes goes, I just want to reiterate, those notes are for you. They're not for anyone else. You don't have to write in a specific way. Don't feel pressured to do detailed stat blocks or anything. Just write in a way that your brain will recognize. And honestly, I'm keeping this video pretty short because that's the whole piece of advice there. You know you. Don't ever feel pressured to conform to any norms when it comes to this. As long as your players are having a good time, that means you're being a good DM. And honestly, I know for a fact, because I'm part of myself too, that oftentimes when I feel like my players aren't having fun, they actually are. If you feel like you're getting caught off guard or the story is becoming less coherent, maybe change up your style a little bit. But the one piece of note taking that I 100% recommend, and this this is ubiquitous throughout everything, no matter if you're you know fly by the seat of your pants like me or super meticulous, is make sure you take notes after every session what has happened, any new NPCs that are introduced, any NPCs that died, or uh, relationships that have changed. And those don't have to be super detailed or anything like that. It just needs to be enough where uh, you can be on the ball and your PCs aren't gonna catch you flat-footed. 
Oh, I thought this innkeeper's name was this last time. Because you're hopefully going to have a PC, or at least one or two, that actually jots notes and is invested in your world and wants to continue the story in a coherent manner. So that's the one thing. As far as note-taking goes, be as loose or as tight as you want to be, but no matter what, make sure you're taking notes on each session. Those are going to be great when you're going to write or prepare for your next session. And you can look back and be like, I forgot that he hit on that person. Oh yeah, they burned down that house. Small little things like that are going to make the writing process that much easier. And it's the kind of thing, especially once you get deep into a campaign, the PCs kind of take over and everything kind of starts writing itself to a degree. Instead of you having to meticulously plan out this entire world, eventually it'll get to the point where you know what your PCs are motivated to do, where they're going, what they want to do, and all you have to do is fill in those blanks for them. Well, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love making these kind of videos. If you like this, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know if there's a topic like you'd like me to cover as far as being a DM. But if you've watched this far, I would just like to personally thank you so very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, your next appearance in case you don't survive.